We are getting a better idea of what led up to last week's deadly shooting of a teenager in Chanhassen. The BCA released the new information late today, along with the names of the officers involved. Carol Evans, Kent Erdahl brings us the latest. In the hours after a chaotic scene in Chanhassen took a deadly turn last Friday. I mean, he's my son. The father of 16-year-old Archer Amorosi told Carol Evan his son was struggling with mental health issues and that family members turned to police because they struggled to find him help. My ex-wife called them because they said if they came back, they would take him in for an evaluation. They said they wouldn't ask questions. Instead, they killed him. They was killed him. 16-year-old Minnetonka boy. According to a release from the BCA, two officers with the Carver County Sheriff's Department fired their guns that morning. Corporal Jacob Hodge, an 18-year veteran, and Deputy Travis Larson, a two-year veteran, and both are now on standard administrative leave. A third, Corporal Josh Baker, an 11-year vet, fired his taser. The BCA report also details events that reportedly led to that confrontation, beginning with that 911 call from a woman reporting that her son was suicidal. Uh, he's armed with knives and a baseball bat and has threatened to suicide right now. Police radio audio from Broadcastify, obtained by Kara Levin, corresponds to the BCA's description of the incident. Can we the suicide of the garage? We're going to try to get the female out. According to the BCA, officers were unsuccessful in firing a taser and pepper spray through a window. Then Amorosi ran out the front door holding a hatchet and what appeared to be a handgun. Deputies continued verbal commands and again deployed a taser, but it was ineffective. And deputies Hodge and Larson then opened fire. Shot fire, shot fire, the the 16-year-old died at the scene, and according to the BCA, investigators recovered a hatchet and a handgun-styled BB gun near his body. According to the BCA, both dash and body cameras captured portions of the incident, and they are part of the continuing investigation. And we're still awaiting more information on the officers' backgrounds and disciplinary histories, which we expect to receive tomorrow. Julie. All right. Thank you, Kent.